I've just got my hands on Apple's latest iPhone, the iPhone 3GS. S stands for speed because it's got a more powerful processor in here that they say can do things twice as quickly. Well, let's see. I've got the new iPhone. I've also got an old iPhone. And I've got uh, Metal Gear Solid Touch, quite an advanced game application on both of them. Let's see how long each takes to load it. Well, I made that about eight seconds for the new one and about 13 seconds or so for the old one. So not exactly twice as quick, but definitely a worthwhile improvement. Now, in terms of appearance, very little has changed with the new iPhone. You still get the absolutely delightful touchscreen interface. Definitely the best you can find on a phone at the moment. Um, it's also very slightly heavier, incorporates 32 gigabytes of memory and promises a slight improvement on battery life, though I haven't had the opportunity to check that out yet. Um, and the screen itself is covered with a fingerprint resistant coating that not only makes it more resistant to fingerprints in the first place, it also makes them easier to wipe off. And on the basis, again, of a comparison with the old iPhone, it does seem to be better. And that's not just because this is the newer phone. So, the other improvements, though, with the 3GS are really incremental. I mean, they're all things we've seen on smartphones before, but they are new to the iPhone. The most important of these is probably the camera. It now comes with three megapixels rather than two. It includes autofocus and includes the ability to shoot video, although, rather disappointingly, there's no flash. However, I really do quite like the video application. It's only uh, 640 by 480, so no high definition or anything, but uh, the pictures look very clear. It's 30 frames per second, so the movement's smooth. And you also get this uh, really rather good trimming function that's very easy to use. So you can easily reduce a clip down and also, I'm told, email it to YouTube easily as well. Another new feature is copying and pasting. Again, something which uh, most smartphones have been able to do for quite some time, but it's new to the iPhone and actually quite an elegant version of it as well. I've got a note here, for example, I can double tap on the screen. A blue highlight immediately appears, plus a bit of a magnification rectangle at the top. I can slide it along using the handles provided. The menu appears. I can either copy it or cut it. In this case, I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put it into a new note. Make a new note. And uh, double tap again. Paste. And there it appears. Part of my sentence for copying and pasting has been copied and pasted. Very enjoyably. Another new feature on the iPhone 3GS is an electronic compass. Again, it's not a first. We've seen them on smartphones before, but it's got a very nice uh, graphic representation that comes through when you press the icon. And also, it integrates well with Google Maps. So when you turn around, the map turns around with you. You can actually see where you're going, where you're about to head off. Another seen before on other smartphones but new to the iPhone feature is voice control. Hold down the central button. Play artist. The Killers. Playing songs by The Killers. And it does. Very good. They're all worthwhile improvements, but not enough, I feel, to warrant an upgrade if you're already an iPhone user, unless that is one of those features is really, really, really important to you. And also, there are lots of disappointments of things they've still left out on the new iPhone. There's still no FM radio, there's no FM transmitter, there's no decent flash for the camera, there's no removable storage, the Bluetooth is still very restricted, there's no battery you can change, you can't connect an external keyboard, there's no slide-out keyboard or one with sort of QWERTY buttons you can press if you fancy typing that way. All of those features and more are available on Nokia's new N97, for example, but uh, the Nokia has distinctly less flair, it's much less of a delight to use, and they don't have the uh, excellent application store. So overall, although it's only got a few improvements, I think they're enough to have shifted the balance in the smartphone market more to Apple's favour.